Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. You're sitting on the swing set, your third grade of your elementary school year, and everyone on the playground is your best friend. I mean, just yesterday, a girl transferred from the other elementary school, you already know her middle name, you know her brother's and sister's name, and you know what her favorite color is. Because in third grade, there's, there are no cliques. It's just a huge mass of children enjoying each other's company. And I don't know when it happened for you, but I carried that montage all the way through eighth grade. I was a carefree spirit, and I was friends with pretty much anyone that I wanted to, and was friends with people who probably didn't want to be friends with me, but I, I really didn't care. And it wasn't until ninth grade that I really realized what group I belonged in, the geeks. <laughs> Now, it wasn't that I was ashamed of them or I, I shunned them in any way. I just happened to not be able to spend any time with them. When I was growing up, and I, I had a few problems with my subjects, and I placed into a lower level classes, and I, and I did pretty well, and I was, like I said, friends with everyone in those classes, but I didn't really meet them until the end of my eighth grade, and it was at an outdoor education trip, and it was where most of the students that went had to have relatively good grades and they could afford to go to the outdoor education. And so I was able to spend time with them. I was really surprised how easy it was for me to get along with them. I didn't have to work for it. I understood their nerdy jokes. I was, I was actually in paradise. I was so happy. But before ninth grade, before eighth grade and the whole outdoor education, I had many clues that I was a geek and I Realize now I completely ignored every single one of them. <laughs> First, I looked the part. I, I wore high waters, I wore khakis, um, I pulled my socks up to my knees, um, I had really big glasses. My, my parents, their motto was, the bigger the glasses, the better you could see. So I literally <laughs> had really big glasses. <laughs> One of the things I'm a little bit embarrassed to talk about right now was that I was embarrassed that I didn't shave my legs for a whole long time. Uh, in fifth grade, these girls made fun of me because I didn't even shave my legs. And fifth grade is a little bit young, but I got made fun of again in ninth grade by a boy. And I figured, well, it's not a big deal. It's, no one's going to touch my legs anyways. <laughs> and I knew there was something a little bit fishy about sitting at the jocks table end of the picnic table and not being acknowledged. I, I thought that was a little bit weird. But I didn't, I didn't, it didn't matter to me. I do remember there's one, one lunch where I sat in front of these two girls and they started fighting. I'm like, why are they fighting? I was kind of thinking schadenfreude. I mean, I don't know what's going on with those two and I thought that was a little bit, a little bit stupid. So, I, I literally, I was myself by the time I hit ninth grade, and I really spent a lot of time um, getting to know a lot of people and really enjoying being a geek, and I, I embraced it. I, I loved being a geek. But if you can get past my geeky exterior, you will find a carefree spirit willing to be your friend. And just a flashback, it's back to third grade. Hi, my name is Tui Ti Huin. My brother's sisters and names is Tao, Tong, and Tiff, and my favorite color is blue. Thank you.